100, which I wonder if I was, it was, uh, before, go check my upload speed, Narcos. Okay. Uh, what's, uh, what is it? It's like speed test or something. Speed test. Then set my bitrate to half my upload speed. Oh, thanks, Toja. Thanks for the link. All right, it's checking my speed test. So ping, 35 milliseconds. Download speed is 22, uh, 23. Oh, it's cool. I never actually tested my speed at this apartment. Wait, boy, did I check the screenshot on Steam? No, I didn't. I, I can't go on Steam while I'm streaming, so I'll definitely check it afterwards, though. Thanks for making a screenshot, man. All right, my upload speed is... Really shit. It's showing one megabyte right now, but that's because we're streaming, probably. Hopefully. How's the stream now, guys? Is it still buffering? It seems stable. All right, I set it back to 1,000 bit rates because I set it to 2400 because I thought we were all good but uh, obviously that was not the solution so I set it back to a thousand and hopefully that is that's what we were streaming at before we had all the problems so hopefully that's going to be the solution oh god that's loud that was loud Daniel your upload speed is 11 megabytes uh, I'll have to check what, what it is when I'm not streaming but I'm pretty sure it's still pretty shit. But that's pretty good, man. I mean, I've been streaming pretty comfortably for the last few weeks. Everything's been fine, right? It wasn't until we switched to the new channel, guys. The new channel is cursed. It's official. New channel is officially cursed. Everybody run, head for the hills right now, because this channel is cursed. Seventy-five down, twenty-five up. Holy shit! What? Do you guys have like, freaking laser internet? Is your internet provided to you by lasers sent from the ISP? That's amazing. Narcos is still zero point three. Shit, man. Daniel, why is the stream? Uh, yeah, I couldn't figure out what to put for the background yet. I didn't want to put all the clouds and stuff, so I just made it gray. Super minimal. I don't know. That would be cool if we do like a sketch. What I want to do ultimately, if you guys can see, the um, internet is megabits, not megabytes. Huh. So all the numbers are lies, yeah. So if you guys look at the chat thing, you can actually see the octopus, the spatula post we drew last time is there. Um, Narcos, you like it better? Oh, thanks, man. What I want to do ultimately is start adding all of our sketches around the border. So every time we do a really good cooldown sketch, like I'm going to add the buffalo into it and stuff, I'm going to add the little sketches around the border so it's just filled with like illustrations by myself. Uh, this looks dumb. So yeah, I thought we could kind of grow the overlay as time goes by. I guess the chat's probably covering up Spatula Puss. I'm probably making him, make him brighter when I can. Pooh, the numbers aren't lies if you know they're megabits and therefore divide by megabyte by eight. Ah, yeah, that's true, that's true. The truth behind the lies. Here we go, guys. 
add some sheen. So with stuff like sheen and uh, shading and stuff, I'm trying to get too precise. I don't mind if it's a little off. So that looks kind of natural, but that's just, that's just kind of my steel, my style. this this is kind of the metal reflecting something that's nearby I'm not liking that. Not looking good. Um, cool. We could be able. We actually might be able to just leave it here for a little bit. And we can drop this into the game and see how that looks so far. So I'm going to put this back over here. Look at the difference, guys. Look at the difference. It's quite quite staggering. Just like, oh, I want to show you guys this awesome difference. Uh, Pooh Bear's mom. Wait, what did I miss? Pooh Bear showing. Hi, Pooh Bear's mom. Hey, how's it going? Good to, good to see you again. Told you, my internet, yeah, my internet is shared, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it's shared between everybody. Guys, check this out. So this was, uh, let me unhide all this stuff. Let's get the knife back. So here's the knife from today, right? Do I still have it? I don't even know. Here's the knife we drew, uh, that's the sword. Uh, that's not it. Crap, I think it's gone. I was showing it to Dan yesterday. The knife we drew on stream, if you guys remember, it was totally different from this knife. So it's crazy what a difference that makes. All right, let's get all the elements back. So we're missing the bottle of ink. What is this? It's the coins, spyglass, uh, ink, and feather. That was the reference, okay. I think that's everything. Oh yeah, the cards. Where the hell are the cards? There they are. So there's that. So I can get rid of the old spyglass now. You're gone. Save, save as. Desktop, computer, C code, ski hooks, assets, sprites, menus, inside the ship, ship table. Save. Dan, you want to? Yeah, yeah, if you have the link, sure. Yeah, if you still have the link, that would be awesome. And even that was an older version of this sword, too. All right, let's update our sprite. So, oh my god, there it is in game, already looking pretty cool. Uh, so table. Uh, oh, we can't adjust when we're in play mode. Okie dokie moki. Here we go. So if you guys want to see a little cheat I'm doing, check this out. So here is the, uh, uh, missing a little chunk down here. Oh, thanks for the link, Dan. Yeah, so check it out, guys. This is the sword we drew on stream on Friday uh, to put into the thing. And I was almost totally fine with it. And then this was the sword I spent working on uh, last night, I believe. Which is like, I can't even imagine if I had put this sword into the game now. So that's just kind of what Revision will get you. What I did, after I drew this sword, you know, I looked up all kinds of different piratey swords and found some nice references for colors and stuff. Toja, which character do you want to draw? I don't know. Which character and what? Skyhook character maybe, Jade maybe. Uh, so if you guys see, this is the bottle of ink. So here's a bottle of ink sprite, right? So I'm gonna rename that ship table ink. So I've actually broken down into two separate sprites. This is the ink feather, and this is the ink 
can trim that. Ship table ink bottle. Let me show you guys what that's actually doing in game. Why I trimmed it into two separate sprites. So I go down here to the menu. Here's the bottle, right? And you notice it has this really cool shadow that I did, which is basically where is ink? No, it's not ink. Uh, ship table. Is it this? Yeah. So the shadow is actually just those two sprites chopped up. So I took the ink bottle and I used its own sprite to create a shadow of it. So I'm going to flip this to make the shadow go to the right a little bit. There we go. And so same thing. Actually, I'm not going to unflip that. So same thing with the feather. So here the feather has its shadow, which is being done by, it's just a cutout of just that feather. Rames, what's going on here? Do I have two channels? I am, yeah, I'm transferring over to this channel uh, from the old channel. So abandon that channel, forget it ever existed. RIP the old channel. I'm going to be streaming here from now on all the time. Uh, because I'm insane and I really wanted a different channel name. And I emailed Twitch and they wouldn't let me change my channel name. Uh, Pooh Bear Boy, is this, is this in the original game? Uh, this is not on Steam, if that's what you mean. So this will be on Steam once I finish everything. We'll update it to Steam. So same here for the, the Spyglass. So I could grab it. Nope. Main menu. Match settings. Ah, thanks so much, Rames. Thanks so much. Thanks for making the change. I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, it'll just be this one annoying day. You guys will have to sub back, and then Rames, we'll be back to normal. Rames, welcome to the crew. Thank you so much for the resub. Appreciate it very much. All right, so here is the spyglass. So, oh, that's the table background. Where the hell is the spyglass? Variance menu. Nope, that's do. Oh, here's the doodads. Ship table. One of these is the spyglass. Here it is. So there's the spyglass, and if you look inside of it. I just have a duplicate of its sprite set to all black with the low opacity, which is creating this fake shadow. Right, so that's how I make these things look more grounded in the scene. Same thing with the compass, has a little bit of a shadow. And same thing with the sword. Now the sword I couldn't do that, so the sword I actually drew up my own shadow. Alright. Uh, so let's put this into the doodads folder. Alright. So let's take a look at it in game. Turn the music off. Hopefully Unity doesn't crash, because it looks like it's about to. Well, while Unity does that, we'll go back here. Whoa, what the fuck happened to our guy? Oh, the original is still under there. Whoopsie daisies. There we go. Pooh Bear Boy, you still have stickers on your tablet. Sweet! You have the poster. Oh man. That's awesome. Yeah, you you have one of the few Skyward posters in the world, just so you know. Only like eight or nine of those have ever been given out. So it's pretty sweet. Alright guys, Unity is dead. Which is always good, always good. Unity and process tree. Hopefully we didn't lose our scene, because sometimes when it crashes, it doesn't save the scene, even though we saved it. Let's see. All right, everything looks okay. Options, turn off the music, turn the sound back on. All right. All right, here we go. So we got the ink bottle there. Let's check out the spyglass. Oh my gosh, looking so much better. So the perspective on these bands are wrong. So we'll adjust that, and then we'll just pretty much call this done for the stream. The shading really could use use some work. Some more, basically, you could use some more polish. But we'll worry about that later. And teams, we're going to start working on the bottle as well. Basically what I'm going to try to do is just get get these things mostly there, keep them fairly rough, uh, because it's a pretty unexciting process watching me just push small pixels, like little pixels at a time around. 
So I'll save like the super polishy stuff for arts for um, off stream or for like my late night art streams. If you if it's something you guys are interested, in, if you want to see how I polish the pixel art, let me know, and I'll stream those when I do art at night. Otherwise, I'll just mostly leave it fairly rough, so we can keep on keep moving on to adding more stuff to the game. Just push these bends to get that perspective back. Same here. All right. Uh, this color looks weird. It's not. It looks kind of flat, which is what's bothering me. I think it's because it's slightly pillow shaded. If you guys have any suggestions on how I can improve that, please let me know. Fish? Did somebody say fish? Hey, F and T Metal. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the crew. Not sure why it doesn't quite look round. And I can do things like that, but... Hmm, not sure. We'll leave it there, I'm just gonna adjust this band right here. Should be fine for now. We're going to move on to the big bottle of rum. So let's get our reference for that, which we had before, which is this? Nope. This? Nope. This? Nope. Oh, I'm going to merge all this stuff down because it doesn't have to be separate layers anymore. Although I do like the feather and the ink staying on separate layers. And that's up here. So let's keep that in a folder. Call it ink. that merger with that that's all this that's ink reference you don't need that anymore this empty layer and this is our spyglass which is looking good so we'll merge it in this is our coin our knife knife shadows on a separate layer ink down here. Here's our all original line art. So next thing we're going to work on is this bottle of rum. I think that's pretty much the only thing left from the line art. We already did the coins and the ink. So let's find our reference. Okay, there's our bottles of rum. Now what's tough is our perspective on this bottle is totally wrong. So we're going to have to try to get it more top down. Just going to put that over here. Should I cut this out. There we go. Let's make a new folder. Call it bottle. Make a new layer. Bring our reference down here. <clears throat> so this is going to go about on the top left of the team select menu. So as always, let's start super rough and draw something, anything, something, anything. So there's going to be a cork in it. That's all from like a very forced, very fake, almost impossible to ever render with a camera top-down perspective, right? Because it's an orthographic camera. So we have to make it look believable, but at the same time cheat it so that we get the cool perspective of the actual object. So this is going to be too small to start, but we're going to scale it up. I can already tell early on this get it's already too small. And the neck's not quite reading, it looks more like a jar. So what's tough is the higher we make the neck, the more and more it doesn't look like a bottle. So let's see. Let's try some other perspectives. Damage wall, it's the rum, why is the rum always gone? So something like this, which would be the true orthographic perspective, it just looks like a jar.
Awesome, Pooh Bear. Yeah, I can't wait to get this update out, too. I'm going to try to get it out this week, hopefully, once we finish all these main menu stuff and I clean up all the issues with the Twitch integration. It's going to be sweet. Yes, both of these look like complete garbage. Um, so we could find some reference. Damage while you'd love to watch me polish the pixel art. Sweet. All right, cool. Then, yeah, I'm going to try to stream that stuff, too. Um, so what I'm going to do is, like, I do art nights sometimes where I work on pixel art. So I'll just stream at, in, like, late evenings or something. All right, we are looking for a top-down bottle. So we can find some reference. It's all just pictures of upside-down ketchup bottles. Um, bird's eye bottle? I don't know what that's going to return. Could be anything. Bottle from top. Uh, that's a good reference right there. This is good. These are good. These are useless. All right, then we have some good ones. Let's see. So this is pretty good. That's not what we want at all. The so reference is super important, guys. I'm sure you guys have seen this already in my streams. I use reference for everything. Hollaback Buffalo. FNT Metal, you're so jelly when you see people draw and program. You can't draw for anything. Hey, man. Just do it. Oh, wait, guys, check it out. Just do it. I forgot I made I forgot I made that. Just do it, FNT Metal. If you want to do pixel art, just do it, man. Just do it. Um poop push a poop, shop it up, shop it up. There we go. Uh so this is what a, a genuine top down bottle will look like. Right? And it looks like nothing. It just looks like a fuck a freaking uh bowl of soup, a cup of coffee. Daniel S D. Oh, there's a whole bunch of bottles. Awesome. Is this a is this a picture of your room at home, Dan? Is this what your Oh my god, these are some nice bottles too. Let's keep that as reference. Oops, not that. This. This is what Daniel's living room looks like, guys. He's got a serious problem. This bottle looks nice. It's got the little rope wrapped around it and stuff. I like that. That one's got a cork in it. That's kind of what we're going for, the cork with the long long blah 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 long neck uh boop shibidi bop and oh not any of those where was the other reference oh this one yeah <sighs> come on why is my copy and paste delayed it's so weird all right so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna see which one of these just straight up which one of these references fit in the game just leave that right there <clears throat> so i've got this one it's going to cut out this bottle. Because if the reference perspective works, then we could basically just steal the reference, right? Uh, these aren't going to work, but I'm using these references for color. So I'll leave that over there. And then one of these, which I'm thinking either this one, which looks kind of like a bottle, but it's too angled. And then this this one is also great and then finally this one which is like the one that we already cut out but even more even more of a perspective sorry Dan there's a cooldown on it but there's not a cooldown for don't let your dreams be dreams yeah I got a bunch of them in the in stream today guys I wish I would show you the cooldown. I think the cooldown is just one minute. It looks like. Uh, oh, the cooldown is three minutes for each. And then lastly. Oh, it didn't work. Impossible. Tomorrow? Oh, I didn't do anything with tomorrow. What's the tomorrow one? Like, don't start tomorrow. What is today? Ah, sun. Sun. I wonder why impossible didn't work. More commands. There we go. Let's get the sun out of here. I don't need no vitamin D today. I don't need no vitamin D. Uh, 
This should play. Nothing is impossible. Hmm. I don't know why I didn't play. I spelled impossible, right? I think. Whatever. Maybe you can't play that many. S Sunlight hurts your eyes. Dun da dun 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 da dun. dun. Sunlight does hurt my eyes. I uh, yesterday you said tomorrow. Yeah, I gotta get that one FNT medal. Good call. This morning I went out to bring the trash in, and man, there was so much sun. It hurt my eyes. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I don't go outside very often, which is probably bad for my health. So I really like these bottles, because this one doesn't really make too much sense with the perspective of our other stuff. This one seems to make the most sense right now. Damage Vault, still working on your bot. Awesome, man. Everyone has his own ship tier. Dude, is your bot live in the in the game right now? So excited for that bot of yours. So excited. Poor boy, you opened the blinds because of my face. All right, all right, all right. We are going to go with probably this bottle. Actually, I said we we're gonna just try them out, right? So let's do that. Shop a doop, shop it up, shop a doop. So we're gonna go in here and grab these reference bottles and see which one looks best. So we've got this one, got this one. Got this one, which looks like a creepy old lady. And we got this one. Oops. What was that? I don't even know what that used to be. Got this one. Alright, let's see which one, how these look. So this one would have to be flipped if it was there. So it actually looks pretty good already. This one, you can already tell that it's kind of breaking the perspective on things so don't even like it uh, we've got this green one which we'll have to flip also which is not bad it's not bad what's cool is the, oh, the white one's good too what's cool is this white one and the black one yeah the white one's actually perfect I think because they add the perspective that you're because it's on the left side so it's a little bit angled and up to the right so I think it's adding a good perspective uh, or a good feeling. Whereas this one is like perfectly coming towards them. Although this is the black one is a little bit more in line with the ink bottle, which I think makes sense. So I'm gonna hide this. That's garbage. Uh, I'm gonna. This one looks like the best. Resist damage while you added a plugin uh, support, so you can automatically manually load them per channel. Even maybe allow people to develop their own plugins. Wow, sweet. FNT metal, why not every one of them? Yeah. Damage ball, that menu. That menu. Gordy, the green is cool. Yeah, the green is good too. The green one is good too. I think I'm going to end up going with the black one because it has the least amount of perspective. It's the most top down that still kind of looks like a bottle. So let's start there and we'll work our way backwards. Get rid of that. I'm just gonna grab this black one. I'm gonna flip it. And let's see how this looks if we line art it. So I'm gonna straight up trace over it right now. So I'm gonna make it bigger because a bottle is way bigger than a thing of ink, especially a pirate's bottle of rum. And I'm gonna straight up just trace the outline.
Wondering if it's too too angled. Got turn off by cubic, so we rotate by pixels. What's up guys? Uh, draw a table back of the menu makes it better. And last but not least, spam like an old table. Schlug, what do you mean? Uh, draw a table back of the menu makes it better. Like an old table. Yeah, we kind of have that here. We have like a wooden table, is that what you mean? As the background? Fill this in. Uh, probably got a ton of openings. Try this on for size. Don't have details, like make it unworked art. What do you mean by uh, unworked art, Schlug? Sounds like a cool idea. So I'm deliberating in my head whether or not the bottle should be angled or not. Let's take a look. That actually looks kind of cool. Let's put that like that. <laughs> so there's the bottle, you can't even really see it. So let's move it around. Pooh Bear Boy, next Comic Con, am I going to buy your sister's art? Uh, yeah, if I have money, sure. And if I am there, all right, so this is kind of what I'm thinking right now. Uh, for you, the table is like an unworked art, but little details. Hmm. So you're saying the table doesn't feel complete? Oh yeah, with cracks and scratch. Yeah, 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 no, you're totally right. It needs a lot more like cracks, scratches, stuff like that. No, you're absolutely right, dude. Um, you know what I'm going to do? What I want to do uh, is, if you guys see it up here in the ship table, uh, I think what Slug's trying to say is that we need more details and like deform stuff in the table. So like, I have one up here which is like a scratch. So actually I'll show you guys what I'm trying to do with it. Uh, I will grab this. So what I want to do is create a bunch of scratches like this up here. And then I'm going to save that. And then, hold on, let me just copy this. Paste it. All right. So, what I want to do is create a bunch of decals like this, like this slice right here. So, now that's a sprite that I can just drop in. So, let's do it right there. So, I can just drop that in. I could put it like right there there, even near the knife, put it like there, put it here, we even see what that looks like. Go to match settings, actually, can we go straight to team settings? That would be awesome. Nope, guess not. Oh yeah, because debug is turned off, let's turn that back on. Shoopity shapada shoopadi shipadu. Alright. 
So, yeah, so now you guys can see there's a slice on the table. That's actually not a good place to put it at all because it's over the thing. But yeah, basically I want to use these decals to kind of add those kind of details to the table. So I'm going to put the first one here. Where should this go? I could put it here. Put it there. Shlug, you want to make a 2D game one day? That's awesome. You should totally do it. Gordy, where you can download the pixel brush? What do you mean? In Photoshop? Or were you kidding? Alright, there's the bottle. Yeah, Pooh Bear Boy, the scratch there looks terrible. Uh, Wild Paradox, what's going on? Yeah, Gordy, I'm just using the pencil tool in Photoshop, which if you're in the brush, uh, you can hold down brush to go to pencil, or you can go up here. Uh, can you up here? Yeah. Uh, no, you can't. So yeah, just hold down the brush tool, and you can go to the pencil tool. And then when you go to your eraser, you also want to make sure your eraser mode is set to pencil. And that's how you do pixel art in Photoshop. Uh, love to you too, Slug. Love to you too. Hopefully that was, love was meant for me and not just in general for everyone. Uh, so let's put this down here. So we're going to try to recreate this with our bottle. <clears throat> so I really like the one on the left. The binary pen tool. What the hell is that? He has a binary pen tool. All right, so we're gonna start like we did last time, and I am cool cat. Who's a cool cat, Miss Kapuka? Uh, let's see. Let's see what colors we're gonna grab. I like these colors. They have a little bit more red and stuff in them. So we are going to start painting it in. Uh, I don't where the light's coming from. The light's going to kind of be from this side, so I'm going to flip my reference back. It's going to be like this kind of point of light right there that's going to drift off. The light's also going to hit the neck. It's going to be brightest there. Uh, there's also going to be a label on it, which none of these references have, so we can worry about that later. Um, and then it's all this is going to be black. That's going to be the label, and the bottom is also going to be black. Told you, what's the binary pen tool? I'd love to know what that is. It sounds super cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we're going to add some, gosh, some rim light. Let's get our reference back. So here is going to be some dimmer light. Here we'll have the brighter light hitting it because that's where the light the light's kind of coming from a general upright position. Really just kind of the top. Uh, well, I really like these golds in here. We'll use that to light up the inside of the bottle. So inside this neck of the bottle you're actually looking through at the wood behind it so we'll adjust that adjust that color as we need to so it looks like you're actually looking through at the wood then we need the color for the label for now we'll just make it this kind of grayish color. So as always, our pixel art starts hey, off super like shady. Wild Paradox, welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pooh Bear Boy, your little cousin loves Skyhook. Did somebody say fish? Well, you don't know how to add two players on keyboard. Ah, yes, you can. Schlug, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the crew. Uh, Pooh Bear Boy, I actually had to remove... There was, there were a lot of issues with two-player support on, um, on keyboard. So the main main problem is that keyboards can only take so many input at one time 
And so what would happen is when people would play two players, it would um, only take certain inputs. So say you press jump and your cousin press shoot at the same time, uh, it wouldn't. It would only detect say one of those keys or both of those keys, but it wouldn't detect the other person's aiming key. So there was a ton of issues there. So I had to remove. I removed two player input, two player keyboard input until I can uh, add some better support for keyboard. Shlug, yeah, that was your name on the channel, man. Oh, a one pixel pen tool. Oh, sweet. I haven't used the pen tool too much in Photoshop, but yeah, I know it helps you make like much more uh, defined lines and stuff. To these colors. Is this a greenish bottle? I don't know. These colors aren't exactly working right now. I could use the same colors as the. No, it's not going to be good. I could use the same colors as the ink bottle, but that's going to be too easy. It's not going to look nearly as good. So let's try to follow this a little bit more. So let's put a little spotlight and then we'll brighten up this part of the bottle. Ah, uh, poor boy, if you have a window Xbox controller, yeah, you can just totally plug it in to your computer and it should work right away. Especially with Skyhook and with most other games. So it's really the doing the glass is super interesting. I experienced this yesterday too. It's super interesting with trying to make it look like glass. And these references are actually hurting me right now more than they are helping. But well, these aren't going to be nearly the final colors. Mostly just me placing like landmarks for highlights and shadows and stuff. Poor boy, if it's a wireless Xbox 360 controller, then you're going to have to buy a uh, wireless Xbox uh, wireless receiver. They're like 10, 15 bucks so that your computer can detect the wireless gamepad. If it's wired, you should be able to just plug it in and go from there. Time to move these together and shrink them down because they're starting to get in my way a little bit. What's up, guys? 
Windows 7 for the win. Windows 10 is worse than Windows 7 about every way. I'm not a big fan, I'm not a big fan. I've been using Windows 7 for a long time, and I hope not to have to change anytime soon. Alright, so I'm going to give this a shot with the colors from the ink bottle. Because I'm really hating the colors we have right now. And this will at least give us a place to start. As always, before we take this too far, we're going to take a look at what it looks like in game as well. Don't want to sit here, polish it for hours, and go into the game and find out it doesn't fit at all. Which happens more often than you might think. Windows 8 Vista, yeah, I told ya. There is no such thing as Cortana. I actually, I, I kept trying to use Cortana, and I couldn't get it to do a thing. Not sure why. So we're going to make this more of this brownish color. Cause it's, the idea is that it's kind of like reflect, reflecting the table, but that's not really coming across in our current version. I like the way these highlights are a little bit yellow in the reference. Now we're going to jump into the game in a sec and see what this looks like. Almost a thing, almost a thing. She's not active if you don't have a Windows Live account? I had no idea, I wish you at least tell me that. Holy shit, Toad just working on a sketch of Jade? What? Dude, that is so sick! Holy shoesness! Toad, that is freaking sweet! Oh man, are you drawing in like Manga Studio or something? What is this outline? This looks so great. Oh, I love it. It's like Samurai Shampoo version of Jade. Holy crap. I'm going to leave that right here while I'm testing because that is too awesome. I'm going to make that a permanent part of this stream right now. I'm going to put that over there. That is so good, man. 
Cortana learns by keylogging everything you do. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, so here's our bottle, and it looks kind of poop. I forgot it's gonna have a cork in it. It's not supposed to have an open top. The neck looks really fat. Um, I think the perspective is almost working. What we'll do now is we'll keep the game running and we'll keep working on it over here. But I'm going to keep Toja's freaking awesome drawing over here for inspiration. So I'm going to work like this right now. Toja, that is too good, man. That is too good. So yeah, one of the things was the bottle is too thick, which, yeah, the reference is way, way, way thinner. And it kind of gets thick as it goes lower. Told you you're going to ink it? No, thank, thank me. Thank you. Holy crap. Thank you. Puka is just in anti Windows 10 mode. Please stand by. We're all just having discussions. We're all just having discussions. It's all good. Mr. Puka is done. Hey, I don't think anyone answered me before. Do you guys uh, like the new channel name? Do you guys hate the new channel name? Are you guys like, dude, why the hell did you make us come over to this new channel? just not quite looking like the reference. Slug, uh, slug, you hate it. Damn it. Damn it. Wild Paragox, you think it's fine? Cool, cool, cool. Thanks, man. And thanks for coming out. Thanks for following. Narcos, why the hell did I make you guys come to this channel? Man, you guys are all so mean. Why are you guys all so mean? That's why I changed the channel, because I was hoping that most of you guys wouldn't follow. And then I would finally have a nice group of people. All you jerks. You jerks. So I think, okay, so a few mistakes I'm making is A, I need to put a cork in this bottle. Get it? Put a cork in it. Uh, and B, the lip of the bottle is way too thick. I'm looking at the reference right now, and it's nowhere near that thickness. And I think that's what's selling it better. Jerk for days. Time for battle. Wild Paradox, you're a dev too? Cool, man. What are you working on? Feel free to share uh, your game or whatever you're working on in chat. Let's take a look. There's quite a few fellow game devs hanging out here on stream today. By the way, Lobros, if you're still hanging out in chat, 
I saw your um, far away or far away fan art today. So freaking good. So good. If you guys haven't seen it, I retweeted it on Twitter or check out Low Bros Studios' Twitter. They're working on a really sweet kind of smash like game. Ah, uh, sludgy, slug you uh, wish you had that many doubloons. Wait, Mr. Kapuka, are you back at Windows 10 mode? At least the stream has been stable. We're only dropping 0.1% of frames. <sighs> so the worst thing about the um, where's that photo the den dropped us the worst thing about the frickin oh Narcos is the only one who survived R.I.P. everybody R.I.P. the worst thing about having made that sweet sword and that sweet bottle of ink, because I feel so much pressure trying to make this goddamn bottle of rum. Just put a cork in this. Daniel, how do the battles work? Yeah, it's totally random. It's just the Ankbot built-in minigame. There's like a... Depending on how many people go in, the, the percentage of success increases. There are more people who are in the battle. And... How many people... How much you're gambling, I think? And it's just totally random results. Skyhookers! What up, Skyhookers? The unofficial name of people hanging out in chat. Skyhookers. A, a memory of our epic unsuccessful raid. Wild Paradox is back. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for coming back. But yeah, Wild Paradox, I was asking you before. I, I don't know if you answered. I might have missed it in chat. Uh, what you're working on. You said you were a game dev. on this guy soon only because he's driving me crazy that raid must be removed from history museum exhibits are your thing what that's awesome so do you you work on like uh, installation pieces
Shlug, what is the interactive touchscreens connecting VR? Oh, that's awesome, man. I've always wanted to do an installation, like an installation based game. Shlug, what is the gibberish in chat? Find one? Find one what? Position 79? Oh wait, I guess I... Well yeah, no, it's Juverich. You guys are insane, I have no idea what you guys are doing. Alright, so... The bottle is almost a thing. Uh, it's still kind of poopy. I'm gonna adjust the sprite. It looks like, yeah, I'm going to give it some padding. I'm going to move those two coins over, wherever they are. There they are. I don't know why that, let's see, let's check the silhouette on this guy. Looks like that. Which you can already see is bad. So what I do is I put a overlay on the entire sprite so I get a clear look at its silhouette. So that's usually the first thing that stands out as ugly in the game. I'm gonna see if I could adjust the colors at all. Um, They're not quite there. Let's go to color balance. If we push the blues, nope. Push the reds, maybe. Yep. I'm gonna adjust the color on this label, which right now looks like a nothing. There we go. Cooper boy sketching a jade too. Sweet. Oh man, where'd that jade sketch go? There it is. All right, this is almost a thing. Let's see, should we use the darker color? Yeah. So the bottle's almost a thing. Um, Probably leave it there for now. Let's get some new music. And 
look at it in game. Shlug, you want to join a game dev team or indie? It's cool, man. You should like post your portfolio on websites and stuff like that. There's usually people hiring. All right, so there's a bottle. It's not quite fitting into the style yet, but we'll get it there. We'll get it there. I feel like it needs more browns in the highlights. It obviously needs a shadow so it gets grounded into the scene. I wonder if an early shadow would actually help. Let's see. Help or hurt? I was going to add some more browns to these highlights. Yeah, Schlag, totally do Global Game Jam. Global Game Jam is the shiz. Ooh, that looks better. It actually looks better not being on the card. So having it not on the card, but having it kind of, its shadow hit the card, I think makes it look even more believable, like it's in the scene. Actually, maybe we'll have it on the card. I think that's the only way to get the, uh, to get the bottle, the top of the bottle into the shot. There we go. Yeah, so the shadow already sells it so hard that it's actually there, which is cool. Cordy, do I know Derek Feicher? No, I do not. I will Derek Fiechter. Fiechter. Sweet, I'll check him out. Oh, it looks like I've actually listened to him before. Cool. Does he have a license on his channel? All the music for the channel is originally composed. Here's an email address if you want to contact us about business. Uh, yeah, I love this guy's music. I've heard it before. I'll shoot him an email, see if I could use his music on the Twitch channel, maybe. See, does he have a license anywhere for Twitch? He self confused. If you want to use my company music for your video game, just email me. Cool, yeah, I'll shoot him an email. That'd be awesome. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. That's weird, Daniel. I, I use um, Unity on my Mac, my MacBook when I'm developing on the go. Never really had any issues with the crashing. In fact, it crashes way more on my PC, to be honest. All right, guys, here we go. Here we have the team select. Let's take a look at what it actually looks like with some team members. Um, so let's do it. You know what? Let's do a test match. If you guys are ready, I'm going to pop open the invitation. So you have 30 seconds to type exclamation play into chat to show up as a bot in the game. Here we go. Unmute the audio. Twenty seconds to go. Type exclamation play in chat to join. Yeah, Dan, I don't think it's the Mac that hates you. I think it's your computer that hates you. Okay, that didn't even work. Uh, what the fuck? Sorry, guys, that did not work at all. <clears throat> very sorry, very sorry. Here we go. Why does that not work when we're debugging, I wonder? Hmm. Let's try one more time. But I really appreciate all the plays. You guys are awesome. XNF one play. All right, let me test it out myself first with the bot. All right, we're good now. We're good. 
Sorry guys, type play again. Alright, we got so many queued up. Sweet. Four to go. Or four in. Eighteen to go. Awesome. Eight. Sweet. Nine. Oh man. Ten. Holy shit. This is the biggest queue we've ever had, guys. Good workout. Damage Vol, X and F, Wild Para, Wild Paradox. You guys are in. Vruna, Anara, and Runa. I'll jump in as Jade. Quasi TV. Let's do this. Let's do a Skyball match. If you guys haven't seen Skyball before. Now we have team selection. Oh, look at this menu. It's crazy. This menu looks so different. Oh, I gotta adjust the ink again. This menu looks so different from what we set out to do. Or what the menu is on Steam even right now if you guys own the game. So good, so good. I love it. So, gotta polish up that bottle. Um, ah, but it's still so good. Alright. And the thing is, I rarely, rarely, rarely think my own stuff is good, so this is definitely a big difference. Alright, so we got me and Damage versus XNF and Wild Paradox. We'll go over to Frostguard, my favorite. Actually, I went, I went to Tombs, that's my favorite Skyball stage. Alright, let's Skyball. So, in this mode, there's a ball and two goals. And you want to throw the ball into the goals with your grappling hook. You can also pass the ball to your teammates. You guys could type shield, cannon, or griffin into the chat to vote for what power-up we're all going to get. Oh, I just swung into the ball. That was awesome. Damage ball grabs the ball. Goes the wrong way. Oh wait, no, damage ball's on my team. Totally forgot. Wild Paradox heads for the goal. Sudden Death gets activated. Oh, Wild Paradox with the goal for the blue team. But my team only needs one more. Oh, XNF takes me out. Heads for the goal. Passes it to Wild Paradox. Passes it back to XNF. Passes it back to Wild Paradox. Oh, and Wild Paradox gets the goal in midair. That was sweet. That was some serious passing. Griffin gets the vote. Wild Paradox takes me out. Damage Ball heads for the goal. Does he? Oh, he just misses it. He just misses it again. Wild Paradox grabs the ball. I'm going to goaltend here. I'll play some D. Oh shit, I missed him. Wild Paradox gets the winning gold. Wild Paradox and XNF for the win. Wild Paradox and XNF for the win. Treasure add uh, XNF 1000. Wait, did it not work? Oh, I'm on the bot. Phew, treasure add. Oops, exclamation. Treasure add XNF 1000. And treasure add who's the other winner? Wild Paradox. Oh, I wrote Para Fox. Paradox. One thousand doubloons for you guys. One thousand doubloons. Me and Damage Vol got wrecked in that match. Right, let's do another one. Let's do another one. All right, guys, I'm gonna hit the queue. So you got thirty seconds to type exclamation play in chat to queue up. Uh, one thing I, wa I might want to work on today is. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it on stream actually because we're running out of time. What I want to do for this screen is whenever you queue, it's not just going to say one join, two join, three join. It's actually going to pop your name up all over the screen so you feel like more permanent, like you're part of the game. Alright, we got eight joined in. This is awesome. Nine, ten. Oh, you guys are the best. Thank you guys. Thank you. Three, two, one. Zoop. Alright. We got Narco, Schlug, and XNF. I will jump in as Finn. Redfin. We'll do a regular deathmatch. Three lives. Teams on, actually. Because we're testing out the teams menu. Alright, little thing we can already see. The R sticks out of the token. We'll have to fix that later. And we will fight in the Tombs of Ra. Yeah, Dan, I think it'll be so much better because it'll make it it'll make the menu seem more alive. Wild Paradox, you love the audience interaction. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it's been so cool. We actually implemented all this stuff on Steam. I mean, on stream last week. And so now we get to actually play it. So it's me and Narcos versus XNF and Schlug J. Oh, Schlug J teleports around me twice. My team is losing. Oh, no, we're tied. Narcos almost slices my head off there. Huh, vote for Griffin comes in, but doesn't get picked up. That's interesting. 
So we, we still have some big issues with the voting. It looks like it's not always working. Oh, I'm out. It's just Narcos, XNF, and Schlug right now. Shield gets spawned. Everybody gets a shield. So I think there's definitely still some issues to be worked out. Not just with the power-ups not always getting voted on, but just... I quite I don't feel like the engagement is exactly there yet. Yeah, it looks like it's not even picking up your votes right now, guys. That's annoying. And I see a ton of votes coming in, not a single one's getting picked up. But I also feel like there's some lacking when it comes to the way the voting is working right now. I'm not even sure, nothing even got activated there. Yeah, so we got a lot to work on with that HUD yet. Wild Paradox, is the stream up still? Uh, yeah, you can catch them all on the YouTube channel. Uh, you can catch all the recordings from the past streams on my YouTube channel. So these bots are taking forever. Someone just killed Narcos. There we go. Schlug and XNF for the win. Very nice, very nice. So treasure add Schlug J 1000. Treasure add XNF wins. 1,000 again. Sweet, Wild Paradox. Actually, Wild Paradox, I'd love to know, how did you find it on Twitter? Schlug J, too good, too good. All right, guys, I am going to run to the little boy's room. I'll be back in 30 seconds or less. It's crazy how much my jaw starts hurting after doing all this talking. Uh, sweet. Slug J, did you just draw that little golem geodude guy? It's awesome. D 
damage ball got grappled in the face by the enemy crew. He's dead now. R.I.P. <laughs> that means you lost all your treasure, man. That's rough. That's rough. Alright, guys. So it is 4.10 p.m. We've got about an hour left. We've got about a half an hour to 40 minutes before we start the warm-up. Or sorry, the cooldown sketch for today. So I'm going to jump in and do something real quick. Uh... Yeah, I want to do something real quick because I, while I have you guys on stream, I want to be able to test it out. So I'm going to jump into Visual Studio. What I want to add is Join Screen Controller. I want to add the ability to take uh, to have all four bots be Twitch players. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, What's it going to do? Uh, how does it spawn? Let's see. I think it's Twitch Match Controller. Yeah, so we noticed issues with the votes not working. So actually, let's take some notes. Uh, we'll say votes not getting counted after third or fourth HUD pops up. Not apparent when HUD ends and power up is activated. Show player names when enter queue. So let's see, player, Twitch match controller, I think we have the Twitch join controller also. Yep. Uh, Pooer Boy, you can't share a tablet, can't share a photo with from your tablet to Twitch. Hmm. Maybe you could email it to yourself and then do it that way. Dan how about adding cool animation when the game picks up four random players from the queue? Kind of how a giveaway app animates the picking of the people. Oh yeah, 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 that's a cool idea. That's a very cool idea. Um, so cool animation like the giveaway tool when choosing random players for Q. I think that's a great idea, Damage Vol. That is a great idea. That'll be really easy to do as well. I love it. Um, <clears throat> on chat message, on command received. On play command, get requested bot, get selected characters, on character selected by Twitch. So it gets a box to use. So here we're going to go next available box. So we're going to remove this. We're going to say if it doesn't have a player, then return. Huh. Let's see. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it so we can independently just allow bots to join, but we have to hit that button which is frustrating. Every bomb will land exactly in the player's slot revealing the selected player. That's a really cool idea too, yeah. Like they fly in from the top. Right now we hard coded it so it doesn't show in player one's box. Um, get next available join box. See, this is called here when we end the countdown. So let's make a bool. All right, let's do public bool is bots only match. Then maybe in the place you click to pick between CPU controller, you could click to pick Twitch. And once you press the start game, it is the picking players with play thing. So you can kind of toggle which characters are going to be Twitch or not. 
Yeah, that's a cool idea. Oh man, a whole bunch of battles going on. What I'm trying to do actually is I'm trying to automate the entire process. I'm trying to make it so that it just... Maybe it's not the best thing to work on right now. 415. Um... Yeah, we're going to scrap this for now. This is not worth it. We'll leave all that stuff in. Damn, while we're on fire with ideas. Yeah, man, appreciate it. I love you having you guys here for ideas. So useful. So very useful. Let's look at the list of things. Votes not getting counted. All right, let's go to the Twitch Power Up HUD. There's a cooldown somewhere here. So redo HUD, return three seconds. So we'll say float, um, HUD delay, make this six seconds, because I think three seconds is way too short right now. Or actually, shouldn't it just be treasure spawn time? Be this. So here we will do where to go. Twitch match controller, HUD delay. I won't do that. We'll do treasure controller. Have instance dot spawn time. If you're going with the giveaway app animation, how about each player slot got its own? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I was thinking exactly the same thing. Like this, the names would show inside the slot and then spin in there. That's an awesome idea. Oh, Daniel's the only one who made it out with treasure. Is there something to do with this? Okay, it's not a singleton. So I'm wondering why every now and again it doesn't send the commands. So add vote, user votes dot add, hunt controller dot on vote for type. We don't need to do any of this anymore. Let's find user votes. So we're going to remove all that stuff that limited users before. Because um, Twitch already limits you. Well, you quit bottles, man. We gotta wait. We need your battle, man. We need your uh, your battle bot that you're working on. That's what's gonna make the difference. All right, let's jump into a match. Open, select scenes, versus. Let's see if we could test the HUD without having to go through all of the other nonsense. Come on, Unity, what's going on? 5.3, man. 5.3. Please don't tell me it just crashed. The thing about 5.3 is you can't seem to do anything in the editor if it's recompiling. As soon as I was recompiling, if you touch a single button, it just destroys itself and dies. A sad, lonely death. If anybody else is using Unity 5.3, let me know if you experienced that at all. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Wild Paradox, you have that problem too? Oh, thank goodness. At least I'm not alone. Yeah, it's so frustrating. I have to be so careful about recompiling. As soon as I recompile, I have to like, not touch anything in the editor and just let Unity do its thing. Alright, let's see if this does anything. Q, 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 T. No, I guess we have to go all the way. Alright, here we go. Here we go. 
<clears throat> we are going to do a Twitch match. You guys are invited to join. Same thing on 5.1.4 Narcos? Okay, sweet. So it's not just me. Good, good, good. We got Naomi, we got Daniel. Narcos, Damage Ball, awesome. Thanks, guys. Wild Paradox. Five seconds. Cool. Damage Ball, Narcos, and Daniel. I'll jump in as Jade. So many Jades. Ooh, look at that bottle of ink. It looks so fancy. And we'll do a deathmatch in the tombs. So let's do King's Fall because the bots will stay away from each other better. Toad just got an update on his sketch. We got to see it. Oh, so good. So good, Toja. Oh my god. This is going to be my wallpaper, just so you know. Whenever you finish this, this is going to be my freaking wallpaper. And you will see it when we're streaming as my wallpaper, and I guarantee it. This is so freaking good, man. Holy crap. I cannot wait to see that done. I'm going to tweet it and Facebook it and Blake book it and all kinds of stuff. Alright, where's the hut at? Where's the hut at? Here, here, power up HUD. Hmm, what's taking it so long? There it is. Alright. Let's see if this is working at all. I'm gonna go invisi. That worked. I'm gonna go slow. Okay, that worked. So the first one is usually fine. The first one is almost always fine. So there's no more limitation on it. You guys could vote as much as you want. Alright, then it takes a little bit too long to actually activate, so we'll look into what's going on there. So mirror doesn't work. So Twitch mirror power up doesn't work. Alright. So many jades jumping around. All right, here's another one. Let's see, speed. Why does it work whenever we're watching it, but it doesn't work whenever we're playing? Daniel, mirroring with Twitch would pick a random one. Yeah, it's supposed to pick a random player and then transform everybody into that player. Okay, so now we all have super speed, so that worked at least. Yeah, if everyone gets a mirror, then what happens? I'll have to double check the code after this match. But yeah, it's supposed to pick a random player and then mirror everybody to be that player. And I could have swore we've seen it happen before. Narcos just hanging out in that ship. Oh, and gets murdered. Alright, it's all down to damage wall and Narcos, it looks like. So you guys can vote for speed, mirror, or slow. Bear boy, yeah, you can send it to my email. It's uh, dev at megastormgames.com. You could tweet it at me. You could post it on Facebook. Sweet. I think what I might do is store a um, store user's full Twitch name in profile. So full name shows at game over and only clipped name shows on indicator damage vol kicking ass kicking ass 1000 doubloons for you good sir Senkirk, how do we get the name from twitch we use twitch irc with unity which is this Actually, what I might be able to do to fix our bot problem 
Now that I think about it, let me turn off Unity so it doesn't crash. That profit damage, that profit. Yes, yeah, Kirk, of course. If you want to know how to do it in your game, you could check out how we did it. Uh, there's a bunch of streams of how I did it on my YouTube channel. Or if you want, just you know, want to talk to me and like hang out after the stream, uh, we could totally. I could walk you through how I did Twitch integration. Uh, if you're trying to do it for your game, I'd love to help. Um, create join boxes. What am I doing? Oh yeah, Twitch join controller. Shoop, 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 shoop. Uh, get available box. Available. There we go. Get next available. We're gonna go to that. So we're not gonna say if it doesn't have player. Let's see, let's peek. The box should know if it has someone with a cursor inside. If current player type is CPU. Not has player. If not has player and join box dot type is not equal to human, then we'll do it. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want this button, this button, I want to be able to activate it remotely. This song is super crazy. Two joint controller show countdown. Show countdown. Alright. So this is how the queue starts. Um, so right now I'm going to do a debug thing. Or is it? So we'll do oops. If Unity Editor. Do void update if input dot get key down key code T then show countdown and if it's open and already showing it's not gonna do it. Ooh the enemy ships in sight there aren't many of us left oh man only damage fall and wild paradox made it out alive GG guys GG uh, 427, we're almost coming up to our cooldown sketch, guys. So get your ideas ready. Don't say them yet, though. Don't spoil it, but get your ideas ready for the cooldown sketch. Alright. <clears throat> so, what are we doing here? We are... Yeah, we're only trying to activate that. So, let's see if that works. So I'm going to hit T to activate the Q and try to get four players in. We're not going to go all the way through and actually do a match. So let's see if this works. So I'll jump in. Oops. Play. Oh wait, I can't even jump in. I just realized. Alright, so a bunch of people can just test it out. Just hit play. We'll see who gets picked. Just need four people. Two more, two more. Two more! One more! Plus! Guys! Guys! Just in case no one comes through, I'll have the bot join. <laughs> Alright, so I picked three. Ah, right, because the loop only goes for four. I am but a fool, I am but a fool. Twitch join available so on play command no show countdown countdown user join queue on countdown here we go end countdown I think I have it hard coded Total players to spawn is set to three. So we're gonna set that to four. Right? And then it'll stop if it doesn't get yeah. So here it'll go to this method, which will find a box, and if it doesn't get a box, it won't do anything at all. So that should work. Now 
Now what I also want to do is go to the um, start prompt screen and find this method here which the join screen shows using has enough players. If human players is greater than zero, we're going to set to greater than or equal to zero. We're just going to say if active players is greater than two for now. So I'm going to comment that out. We're going to say allow all bots to play. I was curious, I don't think the rest of the menus are going to work, but we'll just see if we get this far. So I just need four of you guys to queue up if you guys don't mind. I hit the Q, I'll drop my bot in as one. We got a Cecil, Axel, we got Tojo. Did you see one more? 10 seconds? One more! Naomi Arcade, thank you very much. All right, let's see if it works. Sweet. So we got Quasibot, a Cecil, Toja, and AME Arcade. And if I hit start, it's not going to detect it because none of the players are me. Cool. All right, so we at least got this far, which is cool. Ooh, look, now it shows Quas as my token. I love it. Uh, is Quasi French? No, Quasi is Bengali. Um... I am from this nation of Bangladesh. I wonder what makes you think it's French. Uh, okay, so now none of my keys work because I'm not even in the game. So I can't cancel or anything, but that's fine. <clears throat> cool, guys. Uh, 432. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to do something really quick before we start today's cooldown sketch. And what that something is, is, skip, shoop boop boop, boop. shee bop, shee bidi 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 bop. So if you guys are, oh, I opened the wrong thing. If you guys are hanging out in chat, I wanted to thank you guys today for coming out to the new channel for resubbing, for doing all that stuff. And so, we're gonna do a fucking giveaway. I'm gonna drop Daniel, because he already has a key. I'm gonna drop my bot. We're gonna do a Steam key giveaway right now, today, on Monday, even though we usually do them only on Fridays. Uh, so if you guys are hanging out in chat, get ready, because someone is about to win a Steam key for Skyhook on Steam key, Sky, Steam keys, Skyhook Steams. So if you guys are ready, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's start. It's cool down. Oh, wait, no. no. It's not cool down sketch time. It's not cool down sketch time at all. At all. It is. It's super mega awesome Steam key giveaway time. I like to have a crazy number of words. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go. Oh, there's nobody in the list. Load, load. All right, I'll drop Dan and I'll drop my bot. And let's go. It's super mega awesome Steam Key giveaway time. Let's go, guys. It's, not, it's so much text that doesn't even fit on the screen. Here we go. Who's going to get it? 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 This is awesome. And here we go. It's slowing down. And the winner for today's Monday Steam Key Giveaway is... Senkirk! Senkirk is our winner! Congratulations, dude. Name America, I did not build this. This is the Latch Giveaway tool. It's freely available. It's made by another streamer who is awesome. Um, so, Senkirk, it is your time. You have 30 seconds to show yourself in chat to win your Steam Key. 25 seconds to go. Say something, anything in chat to get your Steam key. There it is. Sunkirk. Oh yeah. 
blown up that giant wormy monster thing. Senkirk, a winner is you. A winner is you. Good stuff, good stuff. Senkirk has won the giveaway. Oh, that's not my channel. It is Quasi TV. Preview is going to look like this. Awesome. Export. Uh, Senkirk. Image save. Let's tweet that out. Let the world know that Senkirk has won his giveaway. Congrats to Senkirk. Pachung. Desktop. Pachung. Senkirk. Pachung. Tweet. Oh, I forgot to put a link. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Delete. Delete. I delete a lot of tweets, guys, because I don't proofread before I send stuff out. I really need to learn to do that. My tweet has been deleted. Go away, message. I'm trying to tweet again. All right. Join us at twitch.tv slash quasi TV. That's us guys. That's our that's our channel. Surprise Steam Key giveaway. Tweet. Senkirk, I will be messaging you your Steam key in 14 seconds. Here we go. Send user a message. Find a Steam key. Steam soon we'll automate all this stuff. It'll be awesome. Pooh Boy posted on Twitter. What's your Twitter? Did you tag me? Notifications. Oh, sweet, guys. Check it out. Damon did a sweet, sweet sketch of Jade with shooting her grappling hook. That's awesome, man. Love it. This is your horrible sketch of Jade from Skyhook. No, it's awesome. Fave and retweet. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Thank you. Send Kirk message. Congrats on your Steam key. Don't forget to tell your friends. All right, said Kirk, your Steam key is inbound. You should receive it instantaneously. All right, let's get back to work. Sweet, all right, all right, guys, it is 4.38. We're going to spend, we're going to do a two minute match, and then I'm going to grab some water, and then we're going to do today's cooldown sketch, and it'll be a good time. Here we go. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to do a one person. Uh, I'll join. Shit. Okay, let's see if this works. All right, guys, 30 seconds. Last match for today. Last match for today. Let's see if all the Twitch stuff is working properly. All right, we got a Cecil, awesome. We got Naomi, sweet. Pooh Bear Boy, thanks for joining. Narcos vs. Zombies, Q's in. All right, we got Pooh Bear, we got Naomi Arcade, we got Narcos vs. Zombies. Good stuff, guys. I'm going to jump in as Finn. We'll do a three live deathmatch. And we'll head over to the Swamplands. Oh man, Naomi teleports all around but falls off the screen. Pooh Bear gets the first kill. Oh, Narcos with the second. Oh, that's Naomi with the second. Pooh Bear, Narcos gets Naomi from above. Man, the teleporting is so scary. Narcos can't keep his foot, keep his footing. Oh, but he makes it back. Oh man, everyone down to one lives almost. Alright guys, vote for mirror, shield, or slow in chat to activate that power up. Just gotta run from Narcos here until we get some votes in. Hopefully he doesn't kill me in the meantime. Just down to me and Narcos. Is he okay? He's gonna get the melee kill on me. That's cool. That's cool, buddy. That's cool. I forgot about melee. Alright, we gotta vote for slow motion right before Narcos kills me. 
Slow motion gets activated. Oh man, good job, Narcos. Treasure add Narcos versus Zombies 1000. Alright, GG guys, GG, well done. Alright. So it's 440, I'm gonna head over to Photoshop. Here's some of the stuff we did today. We made this cool little bottle. We cleaned up our spyglass, looking good. This is looking good. The bottle's gonna get improved a little bit, but it's not looking too shabby. It's not looking too shabby. So we're about done with the main menu, which is great, because once the main menu's done and I finish, fix up some of the bugs with the Twitch stuff, we're gonna get an update out on Steam and get all this stuff live for you guys. But, 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 remember, if you own the game, especially if you've won some Steam keys recently, uh, there's a special private beta on Steam, so you can play the version of the game that I play every day. So every day after stream, I upload the version of the game that we just made uh, up to Steam, so you can get it by entering the passcode. Fish out of water. I think, do I have a Ankhbot command for that? I feel like I totally should. Blog, vote commands, learn Unity, Twitter, private beta, yeah. So I do have that, I gotta get used to using that private beta so if you guys own the game on steam you can go over to your library you can go to skyhook and you can enter the private passcode fish out of water which gives you access to my version of the game which can be broken so be careful it will have bugs in it but it will be all the stuff that we work on in stream i publish as soon as the stream is done in fact i'm gonna hit the publish button right now in the meantime we're gonna head over to photoshop so here's the mock-up we did on uh, friday and we've got pretty much most of the stuff in there. Compass, the candle didn't end up fitting in, but we've got the spyglass, the ink and feather, coins and the bottles, and I'll probably do the ropes later tonight. Fish? Did somebody say fish? Hey, Stora, and thank you for the follow. Welcome to the crew. Thanks so much. You are watching some Skyhook game development, a game where you fight with grappling hooks, out now on Steam Early Access. Now, if you guys haven't been around for this part of the show before, this is the cooldown sketch. Right till the end of the show, I take uh, suggestions from you guys in chat and draw crazy, crazy stuff. So here's one of the ones we drew in the past. Here is our Jedi Buffalo. Uh, we also did, this was Fridays, it was absolutely insane. It was Spatula Puss, a baby eating a keyboard, a uh, Mr. Kapuka's dog, a llama vomiting rainbows and farting, a snail in a spaceship. So pretty much anything goes, as long as it's not, you know, inappropriate. So let's do it. Let's do another one. Today on stream, we'll do 3,000 by 1,500. Mystical Poopa, puppy again. Mystical Poopa, mystical Pooka. Loves his dog, still loving his puppy. Wild paradox. That feeling you get when you're waiting for Unity to compile. I love it. That's hilarious. We're going to start today's cooldown sketch. As always, we're going to make a new window. We're going to put it here. That's going to be our reference window. This is going to be our sketch window. We don't need this anymore or this. What else we got? Cyborg Parrot, Firewolf with Daggers for Claws, what the F? Draw yourself as a Dragon Ball Z character. The Mighty Boot, all right, we're gonna call it there, we're gonna call it there, guys, we're gonna call it there. A Cactus with a Giraffe Head, we're gonna call it right there. Jade, Jade Breakdancing, oh man, nah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to call it there. Jade Breakdancing might be a little bit too difficult for me, and we got enough Jade fan art going today, I think. Oh, so I'm gonna pick some random ones here. Uh, Cyborg Parrot. Well, we drew a parrot once before. Uh, the Mighty Boot sounds cool. What the hell is the Mighty Boot? Oh, gosh, that's so cool, Toja. I can't wait to see your fan art. Uh, Rabbit on steroids. Mighty Boot. Is the, what is the Mighty Boot? Is that just a made-up thing you came up with? Firewolf with daggers. Oh, what's cool? You were saying woo about the puppy. Okay, I really like Cactus with the giraffe head. I like that one a lot. Let's get a reference of a giraffe's head. Let's 
It's got a reference of a cactus. Right, that's it right there. A cactus with a giraffe head. Done. Rabbit on steroids. Me as a DBZ character. Uh, the Mighty Boot. He totally made it up. Kangaroo Hooker. Oh my gosh. Slightly inappropriate. Uh, okay. Dr hmm. Rabbit on steroids. I could draw a rabbit as a DBZ character on steroids. That would be funny. Evil Baby Hitler. I don't know, Wild Paradox. That's kind of insane. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Well, there actually is a Dragon Ball Z rabbit character, right? That new god. The guy of destruction. I guess he's already a rabbit. Skyhooker is technically not fine. Technically not fine. Um, it's just funny, I guess. So, <clears throat> alright, what else we're going to do? We're going to do a Firewolf with Daggers for Claws, Cyborg Parrot, the Mighty Boot. I guess Cyborg Parrot would be more fun. Let's get a picture of a parrot. Got a lot of animal related suggestions in stream usually. You guys are animal lovers like me. That's cool. Lonely raid. RIP. Don't ever we never talk about that raid again, damage wall. We'll never talk about that raid again. A potato. Alright, no more suggestions, guys. No more suggestions. Uh <clears throat> Tojo Rabbit on steroids. A potato. Mix potato and lion? You guys are absolutely insane. There's no cooldown sketch animation anymore. Oh yeah, no, it's gonna break the countdown thing, so I won't do that this time. I have to make a separate, maybe I'll make my own animation for cooldown sketches, that would be cool. Uh, Dragon Ball Z character. Told you, you rarely draw anthro characters. Oh, that's funny, I, all I do is draw anthro characters, as you can probably tell from my game. There's Son Goku. Alright, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Uh, tools. Switch over to a real brush. A grown, grown up's brush. Ooh, I still got coffee. Life's always good when you think you're out of coffee, but you still have coffee. Ooh, I'm going to grab some water, guys. Just a sec. Just a sec. And I'm back. Whoop a doop a doop. Pooh Bear Boy, what's next after this? After this is nothing. The stream ends. Whoa. Publishing to stream. Steam died. So I'll have to do that later. I'll have to remember to do that later. Whoop a doo. Shoop a doo. Shop a bop. All right. Cool down sketch times. Cool down sketch. So we're going to start. <clears throat> With our cactus giraffe, so it was the, it was a it was a cactus with a giraffe head, right? Do you guys when I, when it's time for a cooldown sketch, do you guys just think of two totally random things, and then you just suggest that? That's what it seems like sometimes with like a baby eating a keyboard, a dog scorpion. <laughs> So weird, giraffes are like aliens. They have like, they literally have like these Martian tubes 
these like Martian horns. Like, what are those even for? Horses don't have them. Aren't giraffes like related to horses? Damage ball, dog scorpion, yep, that was you. Make this guy happy. I don't know what we're going to do with his eyes just yet. But we'll give him his long giraffe neck. They've got a bit of a mane. They've got spots. I mean, after we're done, we should uh, send this over to Toys R Us and see if they want to replace their mascot with our giraffe guys. All right, and he's gonna have a cactus body, so how the hell does that work? Sunglasses, damage ball. <laughs> you always just make me put. Com you guys are making me just always put Kamina sunglasses on all the characters. It does make them look way cooler. Did you guys realize the Squirtle Squad wore the same kind of sunglasses? Is that like a cool thing? Is it like a, just like cool sunglasses in Japanese culture? But of course he's wearing sunglasses. It's freaking. Uh, it's freaking sunny in the desert where he lives as a cactus. Pooh boy, these are just random sketches that were recommended by people in chat. And I draw them to cool down for the day and just get the creative juices flowing. Uh, sketch, what is today guys, like the 18th or something? 18th, ooh, I got it right for once in life. 18, 16. We'll put this guy in the little pot. Because he can't rock around if he's rooted, obviously. Dragon hair? What is dragon hair, Senkirk? Add the potato stuck on the cactus. He looks like Groot, yeah, Narcos. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna make the potato stuck on him. Maybe we'll put the potato down here. What was the original idea with the potato? Gee, that someone said? Uh, mix potato with a lion. Right. Actually, we're going to do it the other way. We're going to do a lion like this. Because we always do the animal head on the other body, right? So 
Today we're going to do a little baby lion with a potato for a head. This is a lion potato. Giraffe cactus. That you can spell giraffe right? Probably. Probably not. Giraffe cactus. We got a robot parrot. Also hanging out. We need a different picture of a parrot. Potato has no E? What's an E? Ah, this is much better. Potato has no E at the end. Oh shit, you're right. I feel like I should though. I feel like potato should. Potato. Good call, Pooh Bear. Uh, here's our robot. Parrot. This parrot looks like complete garbage. Whoa, what? What? I didn't... There's no alert. What? The fuck? Hold on a second, guys. Very confused. It's just chat spam? Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, there should be an alert. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was freaking confusing. Especially because it wasn't, like, format like anything else. Oh, Daniel, thank you so much for your donation. That's awesome. What a, what a generous guy. How are you guys doing that? That's sweet. How do you guys make your text a different color? That's awesome. Billion gazillions a lot, man. That's a lot. You sure you're gonna part with that kind of money? Ah, oh, slash me. Is that what it like makes your chat stand out? It is pretty awesome. You know what we're gonna do with this parrot? Parrots, robot parrots don't need freaking wings. Fish? Did somebody say fish? Hey, seven days, welcome to the crew. Thank you so much for the follow. 
Did this say seven days is has joined the crew? How come no one's corrected me on that yet? Come on guys, what the hell? What the hell? Letting me do such something so silly, something so silly. Something so silly? Shoop a doop, shoop a doop. Um, seven user is has joined the crew. Let's fix that. Let's fix it here as well. Alrighty. Uh, -do. Wild Parak doesn't really know what he's doing. You know what you're doing, man. You know what you're doing. A robot parrot will obviously have giant jetpack attached to its back to fly with. Trout parrot looks like a complete goofball. Jetpack's not working. It's fine, the robot parrot is giving me the most trouble because I'm taking it too seriously, probably. Robot parrot. Quasi is his name, Skyhook is the game. That is true. Those two things are true. All right, and then finally I'll drop me as a DBZ character. Man, all I did as a kid was draw DBZ. Let's see if I can still channel some of that stuff. My beard is pretty legit right now. It's pretty legit. I think I could, I could put that into my anime character. It's not that legit though. Now you know what? I need a picture of who has a beard. Dragon Ball Z beard. Ew. All oh, these look terrible. Hercule. I should draw myself like looking like Hercule. Oh, look at Goku. So what does my hair look like? I'm trying to look at it in stream, it's pretty short. But got exaggerated for the Dragon Ballness. Yeah. Oh wait, of course I'm a Super Saiyan. What am I even thinking? Narcos, you have a beard too. Yeah, I remember. Your beard is insane. Last time you were streaming, I remember seeing it. It's legit. So I very obviously I'm a Super Saiyan. Judging from my insane abilities. 
in drawing cactus giraffes. I'm not going to take this too far because it's going to be way too big. Roshi style. Oh man, that's what I should do. Screw this Super Saiyan stuff. I should draw myself like Master Roshi. I should just draw uh, Narcos versus Zombies. He's got that Master Roshi beard. Uh, I think I'm going to skip the Dragon Ball Z one. Did I miss any other ideas? Got a few more minutes. We had the potato, the lion, combustible lemons. <laughs> you guys are insane. Evil iPhone with wings. Uh, evil baby Hitler. Rabbit on steroids. We'll do that. We'll do a rabbit on steroids. Will be a do you even lift bro rabbit? I'm gonna move this parrot guy over here and move these guys over here. All right, let's do a, it's going to be the big one. We'll do a rabbit on steroids. It's going to be way more fun. It. He's going to be super duper jacked. Teeny tiny toes. Glasses? 
No, nah, I'm gonna I'm not gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the Kamina glasses off this guy. Just so you could see his fish. his look on his fish. eyes. Greenish liquid, thank you for the follow. Welcome back to the crew. Good to have you back. Thanks for switching over from the old channel. I want his eyes to be like ladies. Yojimbo, yeah. Although Yojimbo didn't really lift that much. He was a pretty thin guy, wasn't he? Pooh Bear, is my other channel still live? No, my other channel will be... It's hosting right now, and then I'll just keep hosting the next few days. Uh, and then hopefully everybody will come over from that channel. And the other channel will be RIP forever. So this guy is obviously pumping his biceps. Oh no. Okay, it's on a separate layer. Pooh Bear, do I stream every normal school week? Yes. I stream every day, Monday to Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I usually stream till 5, so if you get out of school and you finish your homework, you better finish your homework before you show up in my stream. You can totally come through and hang out with us. But if you miss it, or if you have too much homework to do, you can always catch the streams on YouTube. They're on my YouTube channel, which I think you've been catching already. So thank you for that. Appreciate it. A little bit too big. Even with steroids, you can only curl so much. I'm just saying. Let's move our lion potato over. <laughs> it looks like the robot parrot is on his shoulder. So why not? Oh, what happened to his leg? Veins! More veins! What should his other hand be doing? Wow, 
Wild Paradox is the music I stream uh, Spotify. Nope. The music is... Uh, right now we're listening to Vin's Vept. Vin's Vept. Uh, Jelly Dino, are you using a sketchpad? No, I'm using uh, Cintiq 22HD to draw. All right, what should his other hand be doing? What should his other hand be doing? Holding a carrot, also curling. I could just be doing nothing. Crushing a snake? All right, let's do a wild paradox. Because rabbits hate snakes, right? The snakes eat them or something? Green sugar needs a protein shake. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. It makes more sense. Especially since green liquid didn't get any suggestions into this one. Fish? Hey, Jelly Dino, welcome to the crew. Thank you for the follow. You totally got me with that uh, chat thing earlier. That was awesome. Rabbit on steroids. All right, here we go, guys. Here is two days cooldown sketch a lion potato, a giraffe cactus, a rabbit on steroids. Phew. Wild Paradox, you wish you just a Chuck Norris with two peg legs. Oh, dude, that'd be sick. Chuck, no uh, oh, Chuck Norris. Wild Paradox, you definitely got to suggest that for the next one. Stick around. We do these every every day, every stream. Jelly Dino, you wish you were a good drawer as you. Hey, man, just got to practice. You just got to. Just do it. Just got to do it, man. Just got to do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Isn't that one? Oh, maybe it's a cooldown on all of all sound effects. Boo. Boo. Alright, here is our guys. Damage while you want to test your bot? Yeah, 
Yeah, now's a good time. We're going to end the stream soon, so definitely start doing it now if you can. Today is the 18th. Toja, yes, please, 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 let's see it. Let's see it. I just want to see it. Man, I wish the other sound effects would work. But just do it works, huh? Here we are, guys. Today's cooldown sketch. We're gonna wait a little while. I want to see Toja's. Uh, I want to see an update on Toja's sketch for sure. And will that damage all test out his bot? He's working on a new stream bot, which is super exciting stuff. Before I stop, say Mateo is awesome. Mateo is pretty awesome. I met that guy. Mateo is. Holy Jibberays, Holy Jabezus, Holy Garacamo, Holy Guantanamo. This is the craziest fan art I've ever seen for Skyhook. I am actually blown away, dude. Oh, that is so good. The, the sexiest, really cool. Oh my gosh, the inking, the lights, the darks, the angles, the action, the... Oh my gosh. This is so good. That is Jade. And you even got the earring in. Oh my gosh. That is really cool. That is really cool. Dude, when you finish this, I need it. I need it as my wallpaper. It's going to be my wallpaper now, but it's not good enough because it's not done. I mean, it's not done, so I wish it was... I'm going to make it my wallpaper right freaking now. Oh shit. That is too amazing. Let's personalize. I want my background to be white. Center, change background color to white. There we go. Dude. 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 Damage bot is fully operational. Welcome, damage bot. How are you? It's on an A4 canvas. An hour or two. Oh, I told you I can't. This is so cool. Please make sure you tweet at me when you're done. Uh, I want to see it. I will retweet it and share it and put it everywhere we can. That is so cool. It's such a good drawing, man. You keep blowing us away every day with your art skills. And please make sure you sign it when you're done. I need your signature on it. Pooh Bear Boy, say you're awesome. Damon is pretty awesome. Damon's an awesome guy. Damon's an awesome guy. I met that guy. He's really cool. Ships plugins loaded. Quasi TV. All right, let's see this damage bot. Damage bot is been working on an awesome ship battle uh, Twitch game. So let's see how he's where he's gotten. This is pretty exciting. Damage bot is trying to get a crew together for an airship battle. Everyone can join. Sh uh, battle amount. Okay. So battle, oh wait, ships, battle, 100. How much structure do I even have? 177. Cool damage ball, uh, damage ball, so what does your bot do so far? Oh, and for everyone who stuck around so late, we definitely got to do some pre-stream hype. Or post-stream hype. Although, oh yeah, this, the viewer thing isn't working right now. Yeah, Daniel, that is some sweet, sweet art. Toja is freaking crazy, man. Uh, Toja, that's Toja's fan art he's working on. He's still not, he's not even done yet. But I had to make it my wallpaper immediately. Immediately. 
Ooh, Jelly Dino ordered a pizza. How kind of you, sir. How kind of you. Ship tier. Your airship tier is two. Ooh, what's my tier? Wait, it doesn't listen to me. Oh, I did ships. Oh, it's supposed to be plural? Ships, ship tier. My airship was not found. What? To get a tier, you must play the battle. I tried, man. Oh, here we go. Everyone lost their airships. I didn't even have one. I didn't even have one. Okay, I got a tier zero. Ships, tier upgrade, you said damage bot? Or damage vol? No. Cool damage, this is cool man, really good progress. What are you, uh, what are you making your game in? What are you writing it in? Oh, Wild Paradox defeated the enemy ship by himself. Awesome. By the way, Damage Ball, I really appreciate that you always ask for uh, permission before you activate the bot and stuff. Very respectful, man. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Java. Nice. Nice. Very cool. Phew. All right, guys. And with that, we got Damage Ball's aw super awesome... Uh, super awesome stream bot working out it's really cool looking forward to see how that progresses today was an awesome stream we got a lot of pixel art done a lot of fun illustrations it was great you guys are awesome you guys are the best thank you so much for watching thank you everybody for coming over to the new channel this is quasi tv i'll be streaming here from now on so tell your friends tell your mom hide your kids hide your wife um we'll be back again tomorrow at 2 p.m eastern standard time uh so please 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 come back if you can and if you enjoyed the show if you haven't already done it please don't forget to follow uh, damage Ball, you just started. It's a lot of work to do. Yeah, I can't imagine. Definitely, it must be a ton of work. But it's really cool. When you're done, you could probably like release it and other streamers can use it and stuff. Daniel, can you have a host? Hell no. Hell no. You think we just give away hosts on this channel? You think we're just a host charity? You think we're the host Red Cross? I told you, are we raiding one? Hell yeah, we're going to raid Daniel's stream. Although he already knows who we all are. So... Guess it's not going to be that exciting. Daniel, you are going live. Oh, in like two minutes probably, right? You're moving up to 5.30. All right, guys. If you guys are enjoying this show, Daniel SND hanging out in chat is a fellow game dev, also working on a local multiplayer game, coming out soon on all kinds of platforms. Uh, I think it's definitely coming out. It was great. I was, uh, blah, blah, blah. It was greenlit on Steam uh, in nine days. You know it's an awesome game. So definitely check it out. He's going to be doing some game dev right now host red cross so we're going to host him up so if you guys are over there if you haven't seen daniel's channel before go in there tell him he's awesome but he's not as good as quasi make sure to remind him about that countdown tier of 11 minutes cool 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 uh all right told you thank you so much for the awesome art can't wait to see it done you're freaking awesome we'll share that everywhere everybody thank you so much for hanging out we'll do uh we're going to host up daniel's channel now uh slash host daniel snd Damage Ball, of course, yeah, we're happy to test it anytime. Let us know when you're hanging out in stream, and we'll be happy to help you test it. You've helped me test my Twitch stuff so much, man. Happy to give back. Uh, after we finish this one, we shall see. Uh, cool. All right, guys, I'm going to host up Daniel's channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 2. Thank you again so much. I love you guys. You guys are the best. See you tomorrow.